Birria tacos are delicious, but making them is very labor intensive. I'm gonna show you how to make the fast and easy version. In the past two years, you must have been exposed to the birria tacos. If you haven't seen them, well, I don't know what happened to you then, because they've been on every main YouTube channel over the platform, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Just think about it. Joshua Wiseman made them, Google Foods made them, La Capital made them, Babish made them, and then a whole array of other smaller YouTube channels made them as well. But they all showed you the most authentic way to make birria tacos. And that's a very labor intensive job. And it takes hours and hours to cook. I'm gonna show you the version that's not gonna take hours, that's not gonna cost you a ton in product. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be cheap. And at the end of this video, you're gonna have a recipe that is so easy, you can make it every workday of the week. Traditionally, birria tacos is a beef stew. Now I wanna cut down in cooking time, so I dove into my freezer and I picked some leftover beef brisket. Now if you don't have beef brisket, but you still wanna cut down on time, you gotta look for pieces of meat that's gonna cook real quick. You could either use like a skirt steak or a flat iron and then just chop it into fine slices of beef. Or if you wanna go cheaper, you could even switch to chicken. Just get yourself some chicken thighs, cut them down into tiny pieces. Now, I'm cutting my brisket up into cubes and then it's time to fire up my barbecue. Of course, I'm gonna be cooking over wood fire, but since you want to go easy, weekday, you can do this at home, in a pan, on the stove. But I like my wood fire. This is the Polar Grilli. It's a Finnish style grill. And it's freaking awesome because in the middle, you got this wood fire burning. And I started it up with a little bit of birch. And birch shouldn't be confused with beech. Birch is a really light tree type. It's the same type that you use for matches. Now, that's what I use to start the fire with and I don't even need a fire starter. And once it burns down, I put on a log of beech. Beach tree is magnificent because what it does is it burns down and then it turns into embers. Not to dust like oak, not to dust like birch, but in embers. Big chunks that glow like charcoal. And that's how I build up a big mass of energy at the bottom of this grill. I gotta keep my fire going, I gotta keep building on those embers, and then I can put my pan on and start cooking. So I'm gonna take my Dutch oven, hang it on the hook, and set it over the fire. Then I'm gonna chop fine two white onions. With a little bit of olive oil, they're going into the Dutch oven. I'm also gonna add three sliced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of tomato puree, two kilograms of our leftover brisket, 500 milliliters of concentrated beef broth, mixed with one and a half liters of water, totals up to two liters of beef broth. And now we're gonna bring this to a boil. Now to get the authentic flavor of the birria tacos, we want some chilies. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because if you want chilies, there are all kinds of chilies. And if you follow most of the recipes, they at least have three types of chilies in their recipe. And chilies, in Europe at least, they don't come cheap. One of these boxes is gonna cost you around four euros each. Of course, probably in Mexico or in America, you can get this cheaper, but I wanna make this an affordable recipe. So I'm gonna explain you what all of these chilies do. I have here dried chili caillo, or however you pronounce that. And this is a dried chili. I have here chili de arbol, which is also just a light dried chili. This is smoked and dried chipotle. And this chili has a dark fragrance. It almost smells like tobacco and it's, it's really nice and it has a vanilla-like aroma. This is a chili that will not only add heat to your dish, but also a lot of flavor. And that's the flavor that the birra tacos are famous for. The same goes for the pasilla chili. 
and the chili ancho. I just, I just, I just rubbed this under my nose. That was a bad idea. Don't, don't do, don't put this too close to your nose. My point is, you're only gonna need one of these chili types. So don't buy all of them for a weekday recipe. Of course, if you want to go authentic, just go crazy. But for now, just pick one. And I recommend getting the chipotle dried and smoked. That's the one that's gonna add the most flavor. And if you buy a pack like this, just, tra just take three of these for a recipe and then vacuum the rest in portions. So you can keep these in the freezer and you can just take them out. And the rest of the chilies, you just vacuum put in the freezer and then take them out whenever you're making this recipe. I'm just gonna take off the stems, get most of the seeds out and then put them in my Dutch oven. I'm gonna let this simmer for around 20 minutes because my beef's already cooked and all I want to have happen is that the flavors get mixed. Look at how beautiful this consomme turned out. It's got all of the characteristics that you're looking for in an authentic consomme. But I just made this in under 20 minutes. Some recipes call for taking out the peppers and the coarse vegetables to grind them up. I'm saving yet another cooking step, which is not influencing the way the birra taco tastes. The final step in the preparation is grinding up some cheese. Now, if you live near Mexico, of course, you're gonna choose a beautiful Mexican cheese. But if you're like me and you live in Europe, you just pick the best local cheese you can find. I'm using some young Gouda. It's relatively cheap and it tastes absolutely amazing. Now it's time to actually start cooking our tacos. And since we got the wood fire anyway, I'm gonna be cooking on a cast iron plate straight over the fire. I'm gonna let my cast iron grill grate come up to temperature. And once it's nice and hot, I'm gonna put the tacos on. It all started with some leftover meat. And just with a few simple ingredients, we're all set up to make birra tacos. I got my fall apart tender meat, I got my cheese, and I got my consomme. So it's time to put the taco on the cast iron plate. Put some of the meat on, not too much though. The trick with tacos is not to overfill them. Just make a few more if you're hungry. Then I'm gonna put the shredded cheese on. Beautiful Gouda. I'm gonna fold that up. Press it down. Then a scoop of the oil that was sitting on top of the birra sauce goes on to our taco. And just look at that. Look at it, perfect beer tacos, 20 minutes of making a stew consomme with beef in it, and then just 10 minutes of grilling, well maybe five, but depends on how much time you take to start up your barbecue, or if you do it just in the pan, it's gonna be done five minutes, and then you end up with this result. Let's see if it's good enough. Please, I need this moment. I'm, I'm, I'm never going back again to, to regular tacos. <laughs> Still spicy. <laughs> this is good stuff. Making barilla tacos under half an hour. How cool is that? No more three and a half hours, another half hour of this, another two hours that. No. Instant gratification. Mm. Mm, okay, okay. I don't want this moment to be over. <laughs> Please let me sit here. Let me stay here. I think that this might be in my top five dishes ever. Like, not even barbecue. It might defeat every Michelin star restaurant. Okay. You don't need to go there. But this is street food. Can it beat egg rolls? Yeah. Can it beat steamed buns? Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Beating steamed buns? Yeah. Even my steamed buns? Yeah. Okay, I must admit it's better. But I don't like like that it's, this is better. I it's, like it's the fryiness, the crunchiness, all those textures. Is it better than your stuffed pita bread? Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna fry my my stuffed pita bread next time. Mm. 
Mm. We, should, we should make to-go versions of this. Mm -hmm. And grilling this over a wood fire grill, I love that. It just gives it an extra element. The dog's going insane at the moment because she knows what's going on. It's beef and cheese. Call the Dutch guys. They're coming in, they eat it all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Watch Morse and eat the rest of the taco. And in the meantime, don't forget to click on the next video. You might even see all the recipe we just mentioned. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Big thanks to the Patreons and the YouTube members. Until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling.